What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy, and in this video, I'm going to be announcing the winners of my crazy gay love story Sims 2 obsessed fan contest that I've been holding on YouTube. So, for those of you guys who don't know what the hell I'm talking about, um, like a couple months ago, I posted a video uh, asking you guys to make a Sims 2 character and to email him to me. I wanted you guys to make like a Sims 2 character who you imagine would have a bedroom exactly like this and who you would imagine would fall madly in love with me and become my obsessed fan and become my obsessed lover and I've really been wanting people to do this, and I was really sad at first because for a while absolutely no one sent in any sims at all or submitted any sims, and I was kind of disappointed in that. But eventually people actually did, and I'm really, really, really grateful for that. And I just want to, before I say anything else, I just want to say I appreciate every single sims 2 sim that everyone sent in i love all of them and i really appreciate all of them and thank you guys so much for making them and thank you guys so much for sending them in it really means a lot to me but yeah as i said it was a contest and i was eventually only going to use one of them for my love story music video about my obsessed lover who ends up finding me on YouTube, and ends up falling madly in love with me, exactly as I've been fantasizing about, and exactly as I've been writing in all my love spell petitions, and that still hasn't happened yet, but one day it will, so mote it be. But one thing that I didn't explain is exactly how I was going to decide who would win this contest, and which sim would win this contest, because it... It definitely wasn't like a most handsome sim contest at all. I mean, how I was going to be judging them is uh, based on the sim that I imagine most likely would fall in love with me in real life, honestly. Like the craziest looking one and the one who I imagine would most likely fall madly in love with me. And I'm... I mean, I don't mean to talk down on myself, and I don't mean to seem judgmental, but I would imagine that if a guy found me on YouTube and fell madly in love with me, this is going to make me sound really fucked up and really mean, I imagine that he would not be very handsome at all, which I absolutely do not mind. I mean, I love all men. I mean, looks don't matter to me at all. But I would imagine he would not be very handsome at all. I mean, he's not gonna look like a... He's not gonna look like a guy you see on the cover of a magazine or anything like that. So, yeah. I mean, that's that, that's my best way of explaining it. Sorry if that sounded really, like, really mean or anything. But you, know, you can blame my autism mind for that. But it's not the looks that makes me fall in love with a guy. It's the way he feels about me that makes me fall in love with them. Yeah, more information than you guys needed to know. Either way, I appreciate every single sim that was sent to me for this contest. And I'm going to be showing you guys every single sim that was sent to me for this contest too. That you guys... The, the, the three people who made these sims were kind enough to mail in an email in. So, yeah. So this first sim is named Maxwell Krieger. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. That's the sim name, and they were made by a person named Pedro, aka ghost xfx and thank you so much pedro um here's a picture of the sim and yeah that's him maxwell krieger who they imagine would find me on youtube and become my obsessed lover and fall madly in love with me 
and have a bedroom just like this. And, uh, yeah, I mean, well, first, he's a very, very handsome sim. But, um, I'm having a very difficult time imagining a man like that falling madly in love with me, a.k.a. Joe Winko, and becoming my obsessed lover and my obsessed fan. And I, I kind of know this for sure because this Sim character actually looks exactly like a guy who I kind of hooked up with a while ago. And uh, <laughs> now I'm going to blur this guy's face out, but I'm going to show you some pictures of me and him together. Yeah, he literally looks like almost identical to the guy in those pictures with me. And you know, the sad thing is, you would swear that me and this guy were actually a couple. Let us let me just say his name was Henry. That's the name I'm using for this video. You would swear that me and that guy were a couple based on how we're posing and all those pictures together. But we really weren't. And technically, we didn't even... We didn't even hook up with each other. I mean, yeah, we got together, he took me to the beach, and uh, we laid out in the sand, and we took a bunch of selfies with each other, very close selfies, and everything like that. And then um, he drove me up to Pasco County, because that's where I wanted to go, so I could take a selfie, another selfie, in front of the Welcome to Pasco County sign, because the last one I took a while ago didn't really turn out so right, and uh, eh, this one didn't really turn out so right either because we got there too late, but eventually someone else brought me back there and I took a better one. But yeah, this was the picture I took at the Pasco County sign, and that's where I left my first ever adventure rune stone in front of the Pasco County welcome sign. But, yeah, I mean, after that happened, he never texted me back or called me back. Well, he did text me back, but I had to text him first, which is not, <laughs> which would not have, a guy like that would not have a bedroom like this. I mean, the thing with this guy, I mean, the real guy who the Sim character looks like, the thing with him is that he was actually, well, Henry, that's the name I'm using, not his real name. The thing with Henry is that he was actually a millennial. He's older than I am. He was born in the 1980s. And millennials are not really into the whole social media stuff or the YouTube stuff, really. And I know that a bunch of people are probably going to be shocked with hearing me say that and say, what the hell are you talking about? Of course millennials are into that whole social media stuff. They're the ones that started it. And yeah, you're right. They are the ones that started it. But they're not in their 20s anymore. They're not browsing videos on YouTube or anything like that. They're focusing on other stuff now. And I can't imagine... Well, even though that's what I always kind of wanted, an older guy who watches my videos on YouTube and becomes obsessed with me slash Joe Winko and wants to become my obsessed lover. But the truth is, especially a guy from Grindr who's extremely muscular like that. Yeah, yeah, especially a muscle guy. Yeah, definitely a muscle guy. There's no way in hell <laughs> a guy like that would ever become my obsessed lover. Literally no way in hell. I know all too well, really. But, I mean, he was nice, though. I will say that. But he was not my obsessed lover. And I'm, I'm like, literally 100% certain he ain't watching this video either. So, yeah. Eh, well, neither are all the other guys who forgot about me. But enough of that depressing stuff. Uh... But anyhow, I absolutely love this sim, Maxwell Krieger. I mean, uh, you did a really good job making him. I think he's very handsome and everything. But I cannot imagine a guy that handsome 
falling madly in love with me and having a bedroom like this and becoming my obsessed fan and my obsessed lover who loves watching all my videos on YouTube. I mean, yeah, I mean, just doesn't look crazy enough, but still an awesome sim nonetheless, because only a, only a crazy man would love Joe Winko. But either way, still an awesome sim nonetheless, but I can't imagine, I can't imagine a man that handsome falling madly in love with me. I mean, that's, you know what? That's virtually impossible. There's no way a guy that handsome would fall madly in love with me. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next one. All right. So the next sim is a man named Wallace. And here's a couple pictures of him. Now, this sim was created by someone named Cassie who watches my videos on YouTube. And yeah, thank you so much, Cassie. I absolutely love this sim. And uh, yeah, like, this sim looks more along the lines of someone who I imagine would um, fall madly in love with me and become my obsessed lover really, and my obsessed fan, honestly. I mean, yeah, I, I, I do think he's a tad bit too handsome, how chiseled his face is and everything. I mean, like, the long, grown-out hair, yeah, that's one thing, I mean. But if me and him got together, I would ask him to get a haircut, I would say that. But, eh, it'd be up to him, though. But I would just tell him, you would look even more handsome if he had a haircut. And then, if he's, like, really my obsessed lover, he wouldn't mind doing that, I guess. Unless he likes having long hair. But, eh, either way, I wouldn't mind. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's, um... This is Wallace, another sim created by Cassie who they imagine would become my obsessed lover after watching one of my videos on YouTube and would have a bedroom like this. But, and to be completely honest, I actually can kind of see someone like this falling madly in love with me and finding my videos on YouTube and becoming my obsessed lover. But there was one other sim that someone sent in yeah, there were only three, but and I appreciate all three of them, but there was one other sim that someone sent in, and out of all three of them, this one was definitely the one I imagine would find my videos on YouTube and become my deranged, obsessed lover. And this sim was created by someone named Rosemary, but the sim himself is named Leo, and here's a picture of him right here. Yeah, yeah, like, out of all three of them, this is definitely the one I imagine the most out of all three of them would become my obsessed lover. Now, um, like, don't get me wrong, uh, I don't know how to explain this, because I wasn't imagining, I wasn't imagining, like, an extremely handsome guy falling madly in love with me, as I explained earlier, but, and also, as I explained earlier, it doesn't matter to me what a guy looks like, really. It's what's on the inside that counts, and how he feels about me, but there's something just about this guy that has that crazy look to him. Even though he doesn't really look like the guy in the only a crazy man will love Joe Winko drawing. I mean, something about this guy, the way you modeled the Sims character, something in his face and something in his eyes just just reminds me of a crazy guy who would end up falling madly in love with me after watching my videos on YouTube and want to become and who would become my obsessed lover. And I mean, and if, and if any well, if any guy ever liked me that much, I mean, I mean, that would actually warm my heart. Uh, the thing about it is, like, a lot of people online, when I tell them that I want an obsessed fan to fall madly in love with me because they see my videos on YouTube, 
as long as it's actually a guy and not a female. I mean, well, a lot of um, a lot of uh, people online who hear me say that they always tell me, "Oh, Joe, that's absolutely crazy. You're gonna regret that." And you really want a crazy guy to become obsessed with you? And I'm just like, um, has it not occurred to you that, I mean, even though I don't really admit this very often, well, I mean, I show it very often, but I don't flat out admit it very often. Has it not occurred to you that I, Joe Winko, am actually a crazy man myself? I mean, seriously? And I, uh, there's so much I can say about that, really. But if you compare me to a normal person, there's I'm definitely not right in the head myself. And for anyone who's like wants a crazy obsessive person and would enjoy having a crazy obsessive person like I do, I mean like any person asking for that and any person enjoying that like I would really isn't right in the head themselves. You know, that's one thing about me. I'm very self-aware. And, you know, like, if a, if a crazy guy was madly in love with me and wanted to become my obsessed lover, it would warm my heart because guys forget about me way too easily. Like, if I... If they, they like they'll if I take too long to reply to one of their text messages, they drop me like a fucking hot brick. Or if I, or if they do try calling me, which they rarely ever do, but or if they do try calling me and I miss their call, they right away assume, oh, Joe is not interested in me. I better forget about him and move on. As all guys, uh, literally every single guy who I've talked to has done that. Or fallen into one of those categories otherwise i still wouldn't be alone to this day but um I, yeah I, i'm sorry i just had to vent but yeah you know out of all out of all three of the sim guys who who would fall who you guys are imagining would fall madly in love with me and become my obsessed lover i mean this is definitely leo is definitely the one out of all three of them who I imagine. And I'm going to be using him in my gay love story video. And I and I, I, I really love the message you sent with him. Like, here's my Sim Leo, completely obsessed. I'd be careful, something is wrong with him. I was like, yeah, he definitely does have that crazy look. You you modeled him right. But yeah, if he was if he was real, I would Yeah. I, w I would. He he can be my obsessed lover. I would appreciate all that attention, and especially if he had a bedroom that looked like that, and I can... I mean, I can tell you this, I never in my life met a guy who had a bedroom like that. I mean, you know, it's actually kind of funny, because that's actually something that millennials used to do. They used to hang up pictures of their favorite celebrities all over their bedrooms like that. But, um, I mean, in 2005 they did, but not in 2024. But, uh, I mean, like, if a guy is crazy enough, he would. But, uh, well, you have, you never know. One day, one day I will have a guy who has a bedroom that looks like that. I mean, you have to admit, those are nice pictures of me. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, well, a guy besides myself, honestly. Gosh. And another thing that I almost forgot to mention, <laughs> it's actually a bit ironic because Leo is actually a redhead, and I actually do not like redheaded men, really. I mean, uh, let me explain to you guys exactly what I mean by that. I don't like redheaded guys, well, one, because one really mean, I met one really mean redheaded guy on Grinder. And I told him I was looking for an obsessed man to become my lover and partner. And this stupid redheaded guy, he was some muscle guy. I mean, muscle guys are always assholes. I'm going to flat out say it. They always are assholes. He told me, oh, you're not going to find an obsessed guy to fall madly in love with you. And I was like, fuck off, you steroid pumping idiot. And go get a heart attack and die. Jeez. And then I wrote him into my death curse book. But, um, <laughs> that's one reason why I don't like redheaded men. Another reason why is because I I had quite a few bullies back when I was in elementary school and middle school who were redheads. 
men and women, really. I mean, there's this one really pretty redheaded girl who I wanted to be friends with, and I didn't even have a crush on her at all because I was actually gay. I just thought she was really pretty because she had green eyes just like I did, but she was, like, really stuck up and snobby. Huh, gosh. I mean, yeah, that's a reason why I'm not a fan of people who are good-looking. I mean... I mean, it, despite me being somewhat good-looking myself, I mean, I'm not really a fan of people who are good-looking, honestly, because they usually, usually the the prettier they are, the more rotten they are on the inside, and that's not always true, honestly. I met ugly people who are mean, and I met good-looking people who are nice, but... I mean, usually that's that's how it is, really. So things have to balance out. <laughs> However, usually when I say that I don't like redheaded men, most of the time they're like, "Oh, we don't like you either. But I imagine if a guy was crazy enough, he would be like, Nope, I'm going to be the redheaded guy that Joe Winko does like. And if a redheaded guy fell madly in love with me and became my obsessed lover and was like, I know you said you don't like redheads, but I want to be your redhead. I want to be the redheaded guy that you like. If he really was serious about that, I mean, it wouldn't really take much, honestly. I'd be like, oh, that's sweet. I mean, really, that's exactly how I'd react right away if he said that. And yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's that. So that's basically it for this video. Thanks so much for all the sims that you guys made. I really appreciate all of them. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for my gay love story music video that I'm going to make. I'm going to try to have it finished and posted before Valentine's Day. I um, hope that I actually do. I'm going to try my best to. It's going to be a bit complicated, and I'm going to be working on it right after I get this video uploaded. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget to imagine a crazy man falling madly in love with me and wanting to become my obsessed YouTube follower and wanting to perform moral sex on me over and over and over again and not want me to reciprocate. I'm sorry, I had to throw that in. And, uh, yeah, um, that's basically it, so, yeah. Imagine that so that ends up manifesting in real life. So yeah, peace out people.